Hey guys, I am back. I have little Monroe here because I do need to put her in an outfit for today. I'm gonna take off my sweater. <laughs> it's a little chilly in our house because we have it set to like 70 degrees. So the air conditioning keeps it a little bit cool. So, but it gets in the way of my bulky sweater. <laughs> I layer when I'm in my house. So I've got Monroe here. Um, she's been in this all week. Yeah, I have, I've had her in this all week. I love this sleeper on her. And it is an organic sleeper from Spearmint Love. And it's a newborn size, and I actually like that it fits her nice and snug. It's, it's not tight. It looks like it's tight because it's very stretchy. And it is just the way the material falls on her. I think it's meant to be snug. But it does fit because I can stretch it like way far, even while it's on her, even though it looks like it would be tight, it's definitely not. <laughs> that makes any sense. I feel like I just contradicted myself. But yeah, I have this and then this color, and then I also have a mustard colored one, which I also love on her. But the material is super, super soft. And I don't care for these organic fabrics when they're loose and drapey because they just look weird when they're when they run a little big on them so I noticed the zero to three month size and these just tend to run a little big and I just they fall weird on them but this is just like the softest and it's gonna get the cute little ruffle bum but I, I really like that on her um and for a living baby it would be perfect because it doesn't you know I guess you're supposed to have pretty fitted they say, the experts say, you should have a well-fitted um, uh, pajamas sleeper on babies when they sleep at night. So I guess it would be fair properly. So what I'm going to put on Monroe today is this cute little pair of white bloomers with the little scalloped or petals around the sides. And this is it from Jacquardy. They are a one-month size. So I've got that, and I'm pairing it with this basic white cotton petal neck collared shirt it's like a little swing top and that's also one month by Jacquardy these did not come in as a set in fact these come with a pair of striped bloomers but I ordered the white ones because I thought it would be a great just all white outfit for her because I love babies in white I just I do <laughs> it's kind of one of my favorite things so we'll give this a shot and I know this is a sad weekend in the doll community and it's kind of, I'm not really in the mood to want to make a video, but I had to change her. So I figured this is a good way just to force myself to make a video. Come on and chat with you guys. It is really nice out here today. It's very warm. It was really sunny this morning when I woke up, but I have noticed that it is now getting a little cloudy. So I hope it's not going to rain because we've had a lot of rain this week, which really is getting real old. <laughs> we should be having warm weather by now, and it's just been really chilly weather here. We have like a stretch where we'll get a couple of really nice days, and then it'll go and get really, really cold again, which just depresses me. Because <laughs> I really want summer to be here and stay. But, yeah. Oh, I also wanted to mention, um, if you haven't visited... Claire Taylor's Facebook page. You might want to check that out. She posted a new baby. Not all of the baby. She's sneaky like that. <laughs> She's posted the baby on the on their tummy. We don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but it just shows the back of the head with the baby on the tummy. So I'm sure more pictures will come soon. So I wasn't aware she was working on a new baby, but I guess she was, which is super exciting because... We always are so excited to see, we just, like we're always anticipating what's next from her. I mean, we do this with all of our favorite artists, but for me, Claire Taylor is the one I'm always waiting to see what she does next, what that face will be like. So we're all waiting for the face reveal of this baby. The, bi the body looks sculpted very beautifully, as are all of Claire's baby's bodies. So that's not surprising at all. But it looks like the way the baby's painted, it looks like it might be an addition baby. Or maybe she's going to finish them one at a time and maybe auction them. I'm not, I'm not sure what her plans are. 
but I'm excited to see what she comes out with. I'm always excited to see what she comes out with. Like I just, her creations are beautiful as we see. <laughs> Mama loves her Monroe. <laughs> so anything that Claire makes, you know, I'm just, oh, I'm always in awe of the talent that that woman has. It's just, she never ceases to amaze. I really am always so impressed with everything she puts out. Oh, this is cute, just all in white. And then the way that these come down around the sides of her legs. I'll pick this up so you guys can see what I'm seeing shortly. I'm just trying to debate whether I want to put a headband with this um, or just put a little colored bow in her hair. It's always so hard to tell what mommy wants to do to complete the look. <laughs> The dilemma, right? Um, yeah, it's super cute. I love this baby. In, I love all babies in white, let me say that. I mean, it's not just this baby. I just love all babies in white. I think that they are just the purest little things. They're little pure creatures. They have not been tainted by the world yet. So they look just so innocent and sweet and perfect in white. And I love this style with the crisp cotton. So huge fan of this. I just don't know whether I want to put like sandals on with it or if I want to I don't know what I want to do guys I'm struggling today you guys with with this loss of Papa in the community I'm I'm having a hard time just staying focused because I feel very I just feel very heartbroken for Nana and so I've just had a hard time kind of gathering myself to to actually make a video and be you know on task today so I'm just I'm a little all over the place so my apologies I don't mean to be it's just kind of I can't help it it's just the way I feel about how things are happening right now <sighs> I don't know I could also just put one of these headbands on or just pick a color because it doesn't really matter everything goes with white I don't know I'm gonna have to think about that I guess but for now do we want let me We will put on a pair of sandals. These are by, they're just, just one, you by Carter's. They're just basic little newborn size sandals. They're white, but they have like pink on the inside of them. So they're cute. They're, they're very cute, very, very girly. Let's see if I like how these look on her. And even though these are newborn, they are a little big. I mean, they're not horrible, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I don't know about anything today. I do want to mention someone had messaged or posted a comment on my last week's video of Monroe and her swimsuit. They asked if it was okay to bring their silicone doll and put them in the pool. So I'm going to share a quick, quickly my thoughts on that. The answer is no. I, I would tell everybody that thinks that it's okay or safe to put your doll, your silicone doll in any pool that has chlorine, any chemicals whatsoever, I would never ever do it. I would just, I would not, I would, <laughs> I can't stress this enough. I have heard of people putting their dolls in swimming pools and it's just, it makes me cringe. It makes me cringe so very much because you, the chemicals like chlorine are so harsh and the things that you shock a pool with, those chemicals will put, could potentially eat the silicone. Well, it's not even like forget about the paint, the matting, and all that, but it could literally eat the silicone if it's a strong enough mixture of those chemicals. I think I used to have a pool. I know what types of chemicals that we used to put in the pool to shock it, to regulate it, and then you keep it and 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 put chlorine and different things in it to keep it maintained in between shocking it and doing whatever treatments you do to it. So I would highly stress to anyone out there not to put your silicone doll in a pool. I don't care how cute it is or how fun it might be for a video. I'm gonna take these off because I like this without. Um, I just wouldn't do it. I would never risk that. I'm, I'm really not telling anybody what they can and can't do with their dolls by any means, but I would hate to see someone damage their, their very loved, much loved doll by putting them in a swimming pool, you know? So the answer is no, I would highly, I would stress, I can't stress enough, don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. If you have a little kiddie pool that you would just put clear water and you know that it's very clean water and there's nothing in it, maybe. I wouldn't even do that. I'm not one 
who bathes my dolls anyways. I've said this many a times with you guys. I just, I, I don't want to risk even putting water that could remove anything that the artist has put on this doll. I would be devastated if something I did by just, you know, wanting to bathe because they're not dirty. I mean, some people view them as being dirty. They collect dust. This baby is not dirty. She's never been washed. She's never been bathed. I look very closely at her silicone. She does not have a coating of dirt, dust, hair. She just doesn't. If your doll has dust on it, there are ways you can remove it without bathing the doll. It's just, and I know that some people really enjoy it. It's very cathartic for them and they enjoy the act of bathing the doll like they would a living baby. But to me, this is a piece of artwork. I'm not going to, I'm not going to risk it. It just, it scares me to death because I don't know what that'll do to them over time. Even if you're using gentle shampoos, I have heard it directly from the artists themselves. They don't recommend it. So those are the kind of the guidelines that I follow. I don't begrudge anybody out there that wants to bathe their doll. Once, you know, it's your doll, you get, you can do whatever you want. But when people ask my opinion, I will tell you wholeheartedly, I just, I don't, I don't do it. And that's just my own thoughts and opinions. You guys are, you know, certainly can do what you want, but for sure do not, do not put the doll in a pool. It's just, oh gosh, the chemicals. I can just see it eating away at the silicone. <laughs> like it just freaks me out. Um, even though it would make a cute picture or make a cute video or whatever, it's just, I wouldn't do it. But that's my thoughts on that. Thought I would share. I just would hate to see someone out there damage their doll just because they think it would be fun or cute. Um, but like I said, some people think that they buy the doll, they can do whatever they want, and that's very true. And if you're not concerned about the damage it could do, then, you know, you do you. <laughs> you know, I'm not one to ever tell anybody what to do. But when people ask my opinions, I'm very honest and I will be very straightforward with you about how I feel about the thing, that specific topic or question or subject or whatever. But there she is in her all white, beautiful little, it looks like a dress. That's why I like these swing tops because they're long enough that they look like a little short dress, like a little 60s dress. But I love that it has the petals over the tops of her hips and same over here it's just a nice little accent to the collar i'll have to figure out what i'm gonna do with her hair maybe nothing it really depends on my mood guys i don't know i'm in kind of a funky mood this weekend i might just put a little small bow in her hair people ask me about those bows all the time i didn't buy them anywhere i made them and they just sit in her hair I just make tiny bows myself and I stick them in their hair because it's just a nice little accent when you don't want to have like a full headband on their head. And the I do have a hat, a sun hat, that I could pair with this as well because it does have the petal neck. Petal neck. Lord have mercy, I can't even speak. It has the petal style around the brim. But there she is, my little sweet Monroe, who is also wondering who her next cousin will be. <laughs> She wants to know too. Oh, I love this baby. I'm so lucky to have her, you guys. I love, love, love her. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her. I'm sorry that I'm all over the place this weekend. I just, I feel very heartbroken and just, I just feel so completely torn up about the loss of Papa. <sighs> yeah, so here is Monroe for the day. I took the sandals off because I just, I don't love them with this. I kind of love a summer baby outfit with no shoes at all, actually. And, um, yeah, I'll leave, I'll put some pictures at the end of the video so you can see what I put in her hair. So I hope you guys have a great Saturday and Monroe and I will see you all very soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.